Hi everyone, it is KAF here for today's daily recap video lesson. Today was an awesome day for us. Today is February 13, 2019. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Almost a thousand dollar day for us in terms of day trades. We have a couple swings that were a little bit different, uh, but about a thousand dollar day for us overall and uh, very pleased with how things panned out. Perfect in terms of day trades as you can see there. And I'm gonna go ahead and break these down and review them. We've been focusing a ton on how important uh, making watch list plays are. We've had like five or six just in the last two weeks that have played out perfectly to execution. And uh, I've been very pleased with um, with with that. It's it just it's so great to see them fall through so well the next day. Um, all the studying that you put in, all the preparation that you put in the night before it really does pay off, okay? So make sure you're not um, underestimating how important that really is. So today we have another example. This is TRIP that traded just to basically the perfect T of how we would want to trade. Um, it was just perfect execution, perfect follow through, it was incredible. So this was a watch list I sent out last night. I wanted to buy it long over 58, even though it was an earnings miss, I still wanted to go long on it over 58. And the reason was for that is because you'll see that resistance level there at $58 uh, in after hours yesterday, super strong resistance level. Uh, it was one that you did not want to take lightly. We took it long over 58. And then I mentioned here in the trade plan that I want to get short. It's basically ASAP between 59 and 59.50, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and break down what actually happened. So this is the same chart. This is TRIP played out today. We got, oh, sorry, my things are a little bit backwards. We got our buy. We broke, we bought on the break over $38, got in about 38.09. Notice I got in at 38.09, even though I had my buy stop order in at 38.01. We call that slippage, very common in, in trading when you're buying over breakouts. Hit our price target at 38.99 within seconds, maybe 30 seconds tops. Took profit at 38.99. I then immediately tried to get short, but before we get into that, let me just break down the alert here. Not only was this on the watch list last night, but I also traded this live on the voice channel, and of course, I type out my alerts too. Notice this says 7:16 a.m. Okay, I'm Mountain Standard Time, so that's 15 minutes before market even opened, um, and. I noticed that I said it's not active until after the first minute of market open. This is very important because uh, you'll see this initial candle here. Let me pull out here. You'll see this um, initial candle right here. It almost broke up and over the first minute, but I didn't have my buy order on buy order. And the reason why is the first minute of market open, you tend to get really goofy volatility. I don't want to get caught in a fake out. So I never have my alerts um, active during the first uh, minute of market open if it's a breakout play if I'm dip buying I will have it active But if it's a breakout play, I definitely will not so I stayed patiently once that first minute passed and then put in my order Boom almost a $300 trade within about 30 seconds. It was fantastic Now the catchy part is I then tried to get short immediately as soon as I could at 3909 uh, Right here, but I missed it by seconds I just wasn't fast enough reversing my position because remember trade plan said long over 38 take profits then go short as it moves over 39 I missed it by literal seconds, was a bummer. Uh, you can see this is me celebrating here when we were in uh, TRIP, 300 shares, sold at 58.99, just within seconds. Again, not only do I type this out, but I'm also live on the voice channel and trading. Uh, so we got all off trip, and then I heard him mention, okay, it's time for us to get short. But one thing I did is I was long with 300 shares on my long play. I only wanted to get in 150 shares to the short side, and I do that to protect profits. If I ever have a winning trade, then the second time I trade it, I not always, as you're going to see in the next example, but I, I typically will trade at smaller size to protect my profits. Anyways, I didn't get filled, which was kind of a bummer, and this thing sank all the way down to low 55s. Uh, would have been just a massive trade, $600 trade, had I gone that filled. So even though I didn't get the fill, it was just so textbook. Again, let's review that watch display. Uh, just so perfect. Um, oh, sorry, that's not the watch display. Where are you watch this? There you are. This was the watch display buying over 58. You can read all the details here. I talk about the earnings um, and you know what that meant for us, et cetera, et cetera. So making these, I just wrote up our watch list for tonight and sent it out to all of our members inside the chat room. Um, you know, I do these every night. Super important. Okay, let's get back to the next step. Just missed a short, but it was awesome. We loved it. Okay. Next, what I want to talk about here is um, Netflix, Netflix short. I actually traded this in pre-market as you're gonna see right here. This was also live on the voice channel. I took a hundred share short position in pre-market right here. Now the reason why I did this and I should have shown, I should have showed market futures at the same time because it would have been super apparent why I did it. There was a big crack, well, okay, not a big crack, a significant noteworthy crack in market futures that happened right about here. And as soon as it happened, I said, okay, this crack, it's significant. It's gonna have some momentum to it. I could tell by the volume and futures and things. So I got short as fast as I could. 
and I ended up covering really, this was a hundred dollar share trade, ended up covering uh, down here at 356.20. Okay, it was awesome pre-market. I don't always trade pre-market, but this was too good of a setup not to as the markets told us and gave us that signal. So we've been talking so much about this. I just wanna emphasize this. The re another reason why I took this short more aggressively in pre-market was because someone came out and kind of talked bad a little bit about on Netflix this morning, which caused this big drop from 362 all the way down. You can see it was really selling off, had some serious momentum. Then on its first bounce, I was able to get short on it. And that was in sync with what the overall markets were doing. So when analysts come out and have been downgrading stocks and making these comments on this stock uh, lately, okay, it's really been having a huge effect on stocks. That's not always the case. Historically, that has not been the case, but recently it absolutely is the case. You want to pay attention to those analyst upgrades and things like downgrades, et cetera. Um, next, what I want to talk about is this rinse and repeat. How many times? I mean, I think at the last two video lessons I've talked about rinse and repeats and how important they've been for us. So guess what I did on Netflix here? I rinse and repeated it. Almost identical trades. Okay, this was my second trade. Right, let me go back to show you. This was my first trade. Okay, let me show you again. Second trade. It's just too good. I mean, literally, I reshorted at the exact same penny level. Um, and then covered it almost at the exact same penny level. I think that covered the other short 356.26 to be exact, almost at the exact penny level. This is what we call a rinse and repeat. And guess what, guys? Guess what I could have done? I could have done a third rinse and repeat, gotten back in short the exact same time after this bounce, short again, 358.30, cover again, 356. I could have gotten three rinse and repeats out of this, okay? Rinse and repeats have been so critical because these stocks have loved to kind of find these channels and trade within these channels. So please look for rinse and repeats. They've been huge, 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 huge. Can't emphasize that enough, okay? Uh, okay, last uh, trade I wanna talk about here uh, was CMB, yep, yeah, or sorry, CBM here. CBM, um, this, a member actually pointed this one out to me. I'm super grateful they did because I, I probably wouldn't have seen this one. Notice how low the volume is in pre-market. When volume is that low in pre-market, I typically just avoid these stocks. So yes, it's an earnings miss, the stock dropped, in pre-market, but the volume was so low, no one was watching it. That usually means that I don't wanna watch it. The reason for that is, is that it just doesn't give you an idea where traders are valuing the stock at because there's such little volume, okay? However, on this early morning ramp up, I just couldn't turn it down. Whenever you get panic buying like this after a major drop in stock price, I just couldn't turn it down. So I took two buys. I took one, uh, I think about 37.40, another one at I can't remember exactly where they were. I should have put them on here, but this was my average 37.74 where I got in short and I covered it. Um, I was in 400 shares short. I had two covers on it. My first cover was here at 36.03. It bounced off this 36 level. It started to scare me a little bit uh, that the level two buyers and things were popping in here. So I covered half, I covered 200 shares, 36.03. And then I ended up covering towards the end of, end of day at like 36.50 or 36.60, the rest of my shares. It was an awesome trade for us nonetheless. I'm super, super, uh, excited about it. So that sums up my day, guys. The big lesson for today is rinse and repeats. Let me just show you one more time. This was my second short on Netflix. And look how similar that looks to my first short on Netflix. Almost identical. Please take these rinse and repeats seriously. Okay. And then always, I also just want to real quick summarize, guys. We have an incredible CPA who will do your taxes really cheap. Help you get a huge refund. Check them out. Go to captax.com. We'll get you a free quote. No, no tricks, no nothing. Get you a free quote. So you can totally decide from there. Uh, and that sums us up. So can't wait to trade with you all again tomorrow in the morning. Super excited. As always, you can start a free one-week trial with us at kfinvesting.com. Thank you, guys, and uh, happy trading.